Hello, I'm Jeffrey Lomica, and I'm the photographer for Machine Quilters Exposition. Today what I'd like to do is start my video series on fun things that you can do with the MQX Photo Disc. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to get the disc into the machine and basically navigate around the disc, finding the photos you're looking for and viewing the high resolution photos on your computer. I have here the MQX 2010 photo disc, and we'll start by getting the disc out of the sleeve and putting it in the DVD-ROM drive of my computer, which is up here, just a moment. Now, when you first put the disc in your computer, depending on how your computer is configured, it may come up with a DVD player automatically playing, or it may come up with a menu of different options of what you can do or it may simply do nothing at all. Now, as you can see, the way my computer is configured, it comes up with a list of options of what to do. The option we want is not to play the DVD movie, but to open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. So that's the option I'm going to pick. Now, it'll take it a minute, but when it's ready, it will open up a folder that contains the folder that has all of the high resolution photos in it. So there it is, Drive D, and what we want here is MQX DVD ROM contents, and we'll open that up, and there's our Start Here file, which is where we want to start. But just in case your computer didn't come up with a menu, let me show you how to get access to this if it's not there. So if you exit from your DVD player program, or if your computer is configured to do nothing on inserting a disk, you may be presented with just a blank screen. So to find it, you want to find the My Computer icon on the desktop, or sometimes it's down in the Start menu, and uh, double-click that. And My Computer will list all of your disk drives and various other things, and there will be one labeled MQX 2010 CD drive. So I'll open up the MQX 2010, and oh, it came up in the DVD player. I don't want that. What I really want to do is right-click on it. And now I have all these different options I can explore. And the one that I want is actually Explore. That gives me, again, the MQX DVD ROM contents, which I can open, and I can see the start here. And when we open that, it will open into uh, Windows Explorer, or whatever your installed web browser is. When first open, the disk opens to this title page that has links to the various features on the disk. I'm going to start with the Quilt, Scarlets, and Special Exhibits link. This takes us to a list of all of the quilts in order by category. This menu on the left contains uh, a menu at the top, which allows us to choose how we're going to view our quilts. Uh, in what order that is, by award or by category or by title, or by entrant name, or by catalog number. Then in this ordering, by category, there are different pages, and each page is a complete category in this case. We're currently on Art Pictorial. And then we have what are called thumbnail images of each of the quilts that were entered in Art Pictorial, along with their um, catalog number, the artist, and the title of the piece. So if I were to then choose from this menu a different category, such as Custom Heirloom Show Bed, um, in a moment it will bring in a new set of images, and these are now the thumbnail images for Custom Heirloom Show Bed. Now, we can start on a specific image. Uh, I'm just going to start on the first one here. By clicking on it, it will put on the right side of our screen um, an image of that quilt, plus a number of places we can click to do such things as um, go on to the next quilt, or uh, back up to the previous quilt, or to begin looking at detailed images of this quilt. And this quilt has, uh, looks like, five detailed images. 
as well as the original image. Down here at the bottom, we have uh, the type of machine that it was quilted on, who quilted it, which is sometimes different from the entrant, the description that was provided by the entrant and that appeared in the show catalog, and a reference to the file name of this individual image, should you want to pull the file name off the disk, which I'll describe in a later episode. So this detail button cycles through the detailed images of this quilt, and if we want to see it even closer, we can click on the image. This will sometimes pop up a warning about pop-ups, which we could have to click through. I have those pop-ups enabled so that I don't get any warning. I can click up here to bring this window up to full size, and this shows us uh, our close-up image, a bit larger. Um, but if I were then click on this image one more time, I'm going to see this image um, with all of the available resolution of the original photo. And as you can see, we've achieved a resolution where we can actually look at the weave of the fabric and the individual stitches of the quilting. When we're done with this close-up image, we can uh, close it, which I guess is uh, this button here, and it will return us back to our um, our navigation page where we can look at quilts. If we want to uh, have the quilts just advance automatically, we can click on this Start Show button and it will begin automatically changing which image is displayed every several seconds. It will move on to a new one. And I can just sit and watch this go by. Now let's say that you know there is a quilt in the show that was special to you. Maybe you had something to do with its making, or um, you've heard about it and just want to get a closer look at it. Because these DVD drives aren't particularly fast, I really could not put these icon images for every single quilt in this menu. But the line at the bottom, Searchable Text Index, that puts up a menu of every uh, quilt and garment on the disc, along with the quilter's name and the um, entrance name and um, the category and the title of the quilt. So if I wanted to find a specific quilt by a specific person, all I would have to do is use the browser's built-in search function, which um, it's on control F. I'm sure you can also get to it from the menus here somewhere. Find on this page, Control F. And we can type in the name of a quilter here. I'm going to look under Wiggins. Let me spell that correctly. And uh, sure enough, the first one I find is um, Christmas Eve ABCs. So that's the, uh, the basics of navigating this. Uh, when you're done, you know, no need to do anything special but close these windows. Um, I hope this uh, first lesson here helps you navigate the disk and uh, find the quilts that you're looking for.